What's up, you guys? years looking for the perfect products to make my skin clear and glowing and just overall the perfect airbrush skin look and I used to have such bad acne and used to cry every single day because of it but luckily I think I have finally found the perfect products and inexpensive products so if you have acne dry skin blackheads or just want a better skincare routine then keep watching because today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my everyday skincare products that I use and my skincare routine to keep my skin clear and glowing also I will have all the products linked down below so that if you guys want to purchase any of these products you can just look at the description box so first I like to take off my makeup with Kirkland brand face wipes. I get mine at Costco, but you can get them on Amazon for $10 for a pack of 150. I love these because my skin is super sensitive and it doesn't irritate my skin or burn my eyes like makeup wipes I've used in the past have. So yeah, I really love these makeup wipes. They're super inexpensive and probably the most perfect makeup wipes I've found. Also, I know other makeup wipes may make you break out, but I've never broken out from these, so that's really good. After I rinse my face off with water just to get that excess chemicals from the makeup wipe off, the next thing I go in with on my face is the Teamy Green Tea Face Scrub. It is so amazing, guys. This is honestly the best face scrub I've ever used in my entire life. The problem I have with other face scrubs is that they either don't have enough exfoliants to the point where I don't feel anything happening or they have way too much to the point where they rip my skin apart which is not good but this scrub is perfectly in between and is perfect it basically takes off the top layer of my dead skin so that I'm left with super soft skin underneath and not only is it organic but it is also cruelty free and if you want to get this product I have some discount codes for you to get 15 or 20% off I'll leave the codes right here or link down in the description box along with their website and the product so so if you want to grab this, it will be super easy. The next thing I use is this Thayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel. Now, I don't use this every day because I do find it to be very drying on my skin, but I do use this about, I want to say, two to three times a week though, just to make sure that I'm getting all the bacteria off my face. And this stuff lasts so long and it's only like $10 at Target or Walmart. The last thing I use on my face for cleansing is Cetaphil. Now, I've been through so many face washes, expensive, non expensive in between and I can confidently say this is the best face wash I've found. A 16 ounce bottle of this at Target is only $10 so that's really cheap and they make different formulas for different people's faces so this one is for normal to oily skin but they also have face wash for dry skin and yeah this is honestly just the best face wash ever. It leaves my face feeling so cleansed like all my pores have nothing left in them. The next thing moving on to moisturizer is I use the Neutrogena Hi Neut Neutrogena Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer because it goes on super light, but it's also super moisturizing. And it's also super cooling when you put it on your skin because it's a hydro gel. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like but it doesn't really have too much of a scent to it, which is good because products with scents to it aren't good for your skin because of the added chemicals in it. And this is $15 at Target, which is honestly a super good price for moisturizer. Moisturizer can get a little bit expensive if you go with the higher brands that are supposedly better, but I think this one works amazing and is pretty cheap for how much you get. The last thing I use to moisturize my face is the Province Beauty Rewind Active Facial Oil, and it has avocado and rosehip oil and vitamin E in it. Now, I originally found this at Ross, actually, and I just wanted to try a facial oil, but it turned out this worked so well, and it says on the back that it's best to put on after your moisturizer to keep in moisture, which is awesome, but anything with a vitamin E in it is really good for your skin, especially if you have acne scarring or cuts, but you can find this on Amazon for only 10 dollars and i've had this for so long because you only use like two to three drops on your face so it lasts so long last but not least i want to throw in a few favorite suggestions for lip care gloss lip chapstick chapstick so my personal favorite is the burt's bees just regular chapstick i have them in so many different flavors this one's coconut and pear but it's just very waxy and 
coating on your lips. Anytime my lips are chopped, I go straight for this one because it's just so perfect. I also really like the Glossier BirthdayBalm.com lip care. It just comes in this little tube and I love the holographic detail on the bottle, but it is a pretty good lip gloss. I just love how it gives you a little shimmer to your lips and it does moisturize pretty well. And my last recommendation is the lip balms from Lush. This one's Honey Trap, but they're actually lip scrubs. So it just gets off all the dead skin that you might have on your lips which is perfect because my lips are always getting chapped from the cold weather. I always love to use this just to scrape off all the dead skin and then put on a nice chapstick. So that was my skincare routine and my skincare products. I really hope you guys like this video. Most of these products can be found at Walmart or Target and are super cheap and affordable. I hope this helped anyone that's looking for good skincare products. Alrighty, well, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, then leave a like in a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next video bye